What up, YouTube? Back at it again. It's Gaming Page here. And so Clash of Clans has a new update coming, as many of you know. They have speculated for a new troop that Supercell had released in November and quickly took it down before too many people could see. So that troop, not really that many people know about, but what we do know is that it's going to be a boss troop. They have been working on it for probably three months now because of the last update that was in January. And yes, they were busy with Clash Royale coming out, but I feel like they still worked on Clash of Clans and tried to get the update into finer detail and now are just focusing on it right now for us. But now let's get into it. The real big part of this next update is for Clash War and the matchmaking. Now it's said that the war matching is going to be more equal and so all of the people who have focused on their troops and gotten their troops to the maximum potential, upgraded their town hall, and have these amazing level troops with a lower clash of clans base, it might be looking bad for you in the next update. Your war matches are going to be more so of what you can actually attack. You, it doesn't depend on your defense as much as it depends on your offense and what troops you have, how strong they are, and what they can actually do. For the people who think that there's a time limit on how long before you need to restart your war search, you can pretty much expect anywhere between 5 and 20 minutes now because of this war matching and it who knows you might win you might lose the game is really trying to be fair so war plans who are winning more are most likely going to be matched with war clans that are winning more so that it makes it fair for all. Also 35 versus 35 wars and 45 versus 45 wars are being removed. This could be good or could not be good. Obviously your clan perks aren't going to get as much as often. The things that you want to actually know of what's going to be looked at when you're being matched with war are your uh, troop levels and pharaoh towers. Eagle Artillery, Grand Warden, so in other words, make sure that your base is being kept up and you're not rushing at all. Also on your, I guess most people call them the rules, you will have a war win streak that will be shown on the clans rule log, profile, whatever you want to call it, and it will showcase how many wars a clan has currently won in a row. Also those with more, for example, Town Hall 9 and better, if there's more of those, 
your war match would be aimed more towards that than if you have a bunch of Town Hall 3s or 5s or whatever. So you really want to make sure that those lower guys are able to attack higher, able to 3 star so that you guys win. All in all, there's Supercell has said that there is no guarantee in 100% equal matchup. You can expect that you're gonna need to make sure that your troops and your base is getting upgraded at the same time. Because if not, you are going to kill your clan when it comes to war. Also, there's been some rumors that clan wars are gonna be hour or a few hours, so you're gonna have multiple wars in a day. Whether or not that be true, that's undetermined at this time. But Supercell is working on it and trying to make sure that we have the most so called enjoyable wars possible. I know most of you think that winning is everything and winning makes it very enjoyable. However, Supercell apparently does not feel that way. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this. This has been a lot of work for me. And 